Hi guys, welcome back to Estelle Wilson Creations. I really wanted to do why I think this bag would not be a great park bag video because I've been using this bag for a week now and um, I'm gonna show you. This is the bag. It is a, I don't know what you call it, a crossover body bag. Um, and I've been using it for a week. I bought it to take to Starve Rock with me. Um, I am gonna have a Starve Rock video. If you haven't seen that yet, it should be up before this video. I am going to post a link below. Um, anyway, this bag, a couple of things. I got it from Walmart and it was like $16.97. I did do a haul video when I first purchased it. So if you wanna see that video, um you can look in the playlist or i'll try to link that one below as well hello everybody my whole family's coming over here so now you're gonna see them in the background okay so let's get back to the bag of right. uh, the door my phone went off the door knocked there's a lot going on um i took this bag to starve rock i used it the whole week while i was on vacation so i used it as an everyday bag out while i was traveling and here's the first thing i noticed there is no water um where your water bottle go on the side of either of them so if you're going to use something like this for a travel bag like a park bag um i think you need the side pouches where you can put the water down in it and this bag doesn't have it so you have to put your water in the main compartment now i've been you know going to the park going to disney for a while i know that if you put your water in a plastic bag the water will stay inside there so that's what i did i bought slip ziploc bags and i put that inside the purse um but i want to show you another reason why this bag does not work for me um my planner comes with me everywhere i go so here is my planner and originally and this is a happy planner so i'm not sure what size planners you guys use but this planner pretty much comes with me everywhere I go. It's my life. And it just barely fits. When I showed the video of when I purchased it and I put the Happy Planner in there, it fit because nothing else was in there. But when you add everything else that you have to put in there, for whatever reason, it does not work. I wear glasses when I'm driving, so I have my glasses for seeing. Um, my wallet is this big, so it's a pretty big wallet, and I don't plan to go down any smaller. Um, and then I just got some travel stuff I need to clean out. I got Icy Hot for my back. I put that in there. So we're just going to do, like, what's in my bag um, so you can kind of know. An umbrella. It did rain one day while we were on vacation. It rains all the time. It's summer you know, April showers bring May flowers. So I do have a travel size umbrella. Um, so that's everything that was in this like big compartment. Now I'm a woman, so women's have needs and this might be TMI, but I keep pants with me all the time and they need to be in my purse. Emergencies do happen. And I also have a diva cup. Um, and then other things that are in my little pocket that zipper that I don't use as often whatever kind of like what do you call this store cards like for example cards. big lots things like that they're in there some gaming tickets from a game shop uh, emergency lighter um, for work some cream lip gloss few different of those that I need like Carmex and then my store keys that are for emergencies only. So these things are with me pretty much everywhere. And then I did have this travel sunscreen, which I'm going to throw away. This one's an old one. I did just get some new ones, but a travel size sunscreen. So that's everything that's in the zipper pocket in the inside. And so that made it, I guess, bulky. I don't really know. Um, and then in these fronts. I thought this was where I could put the glasses, but that didn't really work for me. It seemed like it was taking up space. So here is my, I, it's a pill thing, but I use two picks. So I put my two picks in there. And then I can't live without ibuprofen and then sanitizer. So that was everything that was in this pocket. And then over here, you know, we need masks. So basically it has like hair ties. So it has masks. So three masks, I got my emergency charger. No, these are headphones, headphones. And then head, head, what do you call these? Ties. Um, and so that's it for this pocket. 
And then there's one more pocket right here in the front, which I thought would be good for a phone, cell phone holder, but no. So there's some more keys, which I'm gonna attach these to the other one, and a pen. So I thought a cell phone would fit in here good, but it doesn't really work. The other thing is, I saw these bags that if you put over, and they have another pocket, I'm gonna stand up. So there's some of these bags, and they have another pocket right here that opens, and you can put your cell phone in it. And so I think that would be a better bag. So you're looking for one that has an outside water thing and another kind of attachment or something where you can put your telephone for traveling so that when you want to take pictures or whatever, you're not like going through the bag to get to get um, your phone. The other thing, this bag to me is for single a single person. So if you are a family and you take all of your stuff together, I don't think that it is a good bag for you. So, for example, it, okay, me, I got, it's in my family, it's me, my husband, and Jalissa. And they expect us, me, to hold everything and to get everything for the whole family. So, three people's waters, towels, umbrellas is not going to fit in this little bag. It's not a family bag. It is for a single individual. So here's why it doesn't work for my family. I think that I am more of a book bag kind of person because all of this everyday stuff that I need, I still need. I mean, the big planner might not come with me out every day, but it is going on the trip with me. And I still need all the stuff for all of them. So. And how we do it is we rotate out that book bag throughout the day. If I'm tired of ha carrying it, Jalissa will carry it for a little while. She's tired of carrying it. My husband will carry it for a little while. So then we will take turns and then part of the trip you don't have anything to carry. Now, you could all three of you have one of your own bag. But what we found is me and my husband end up holding Jalissa's. And basically, we would have three bags that we got to carry around instead of one. So for my family, it makes sense to have one book bag, but a bigger one that has the water um, pouches or able to put the water on the side. And um, have, it does need to have like a really thick strap. We don't like the thin straps. But I just wanted to give you guys kind of why this bag is not going to work for a park bag and what kind of things you can look for if you're looking for a park bag. I am going to be putting everything in my new purse. So here is my new purse and I think my planner is just going to fit in it lovely. Look, this is the bag and this is the planner and I'm so happy about it. So I, I'm just going to do you guys a little quick look at it. Um, so it's a Jessica Simpson purse and I'm loving the metal on the side and I also like the dangles that it come with. So you can see over here it comes with all these dangles. Now this one came from TJ Maxx and it was $39. So this is going to be my next everyday purse Jessica Simpson. Um, I'm going to use this pouch right here for my everyday uh, for my cell phone. That's going to be my cell phone um little pocket but that's the purse i'm moving into for the summer or at least for right now that's going to be it for this video guys thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye okay.